Hi there. If you are a digital SAT tutor, this video is going to be very helpful to you. You might be looking at mock exam solutions for training your students on the actual digital SAT exam. Most of the solutions out there in the market are like a black box and it does not allow you with any control to configure your exams as needed. Edison OS is the world's first digital SAT mock exam platform that is designed with tutor in mind. Now, as a tutor, you might want better control over the questions. You, you want better personalization in terms of how you want to offer these exams to your student. Now, watch this video to understand more details about how the digital SAT mock exam platform offered by Edison OS is going to be very helpful to you. Now, as a first thing, you want to control the way in which these questions are tagged. Let's say you're preparing your students for Digital SAT 2023. You might want to have a tagging system that's very similar to what the Blue Book offers, right? So first step is to create similar tagging systems in place. You want to add the tag as necessary so that you could tag your question. Now, once that is done, the next step is to go ahead and prepare the question bank. Imagine this question bank as set of folders and you will have the ability to tag the not just the folders, but also the questions inside each of them. So these are the folders that you're seeing. Some of the folders are tagged and some of the folders are tagged along with the questions inside them. Let me show you an example. Now, I am just going inside a question bank and, and imagine this particular question in place. Uh, I'm inside a folder called mock one English part two tough questions. Now I have a question in front of me. I have the answer. I have the ability to tag the topics of interest here and, and make it available. Also, I'll have the ability to tag the difficulty level as hard, medium, so on and so forth. Now let's take a math scenario, same example. Um, I'll have the ability to tag a question as easy, medium, hard. And I'll also have the ability to say from which topic it is coming from. And our platform supports LaTeX. So there is no copy pasting of images to render these equations. These equations are natively rendered from the Tanti platform. Now let's say you're done with the tagging system. You are done creating your question bank and each question bank is tagged for difficulty level and, and the topic uh, as well. Now, the next step is to go ahead and create your exams. So you just go to your assessment builder and, and build this mock digital SAT exam. So you have two sections and each section has two modules and the second module in each section has to be adoptive and the first module is standard, right? So that is the digital SAT format. You just go ahead and create your template or framework that you see here. Now, once this is done, what you'll do is You'll just go ahead and build your adaptive rule engine. Now here I'm showing you a sample example, which says if the student scores great on the first module, the standard module, show the tough, then show the um, tough questions to him. So it's as simple as that. So when the score is of certain range, show the tough folder or, or show the easy folder. Now this is a very simple example of a rule engine. You can customize it and you can create derivatives uh, based on this rule engine. I'm just going to show one simple example here as well. Now imagine you are fine tuning this rule, say, let's say the score is on certain range, pick from particular folder, pick from particular topic. Let's say you want to use a folder tag. Let's say you want to use a question tag, or if you want to use a question type, you can go ahead and do that as well. Let's say I'm, I'm picking a folder called hard. I'm picking a topic for folder called a uh, folder tag called natural science and then i'm talking about words in context and then multiple choice problem and then the difficulty level hard so this rule engine is so robust that once the diagnostic test is complete you would be able to play around with this rule engine to create personalized exams from a particular topic so that when the student is working on his weak areas, the student would, his or her weak areas, the student would like to understand 
the areas of improvement and would need more practice questions that will help him or her to work on these improvement areas. So this rule engine is not going to um, make your job tough, but it's only going to make your job easy. Imagine you've got hundreds and thousands of questions in your library. You just need to play around with the rule engine to create these customized tests. Now, some of you might ask me, okay, uh, all these is great, but can you also offer questions for the digital SAT exam? Definitely, we do offer that. We do have a content marketplace where you can go ahead and purchase these questions from us and import it into your library. These questions come with tagging for difficulty level topic so that you can use it from day zero. All you just need to do is use these templates that we created to create these mock exams and you can play around with the rule engine to create derivatives which I call as a section level exams for a particular topic at a particular difficulty level that you want your students to work upon so that their next diagnostic exam, their next mock exam, they'll be able to see an improvement in score. Okay, all this from the admin side. Now, let me go ahead and show the learner side of the platform. Let's say I'm a student. I'm just going to take a couple of minutes to take the exam. I'm just going to say that, uh, use this to show that it's very similar to the Blue Book experience. I am taking an exam here. Again, section one and section two, module two in each section is going to be adapted to, module one in each section is going to be standard here. I'm clicking on retake exam. Now this experience is very similar to the Blue Book exam. You've got tools that are available in your Blue Book as well. You can go ahead and answer these questions. You can change the order. You can mark a question for a review and you can you can still go ahead and do and you can use answer elimination options as well right so the same stuff and then if i mark some question for review it's automatically shown here like how you see in the book now for the sake of time i'll go to the last section then i mean if you want i can have a break now because i'm demonstrating we are just going to go ahead with the flow as well now here again in the English section, I'm just going to the last one to give you a glimpse of the math section as well. But this is also a numerical uh, input problem, which I meant in here. Again, uh, the nuances of this platform is very similar to the Blue Book as well. Now here, you got elements of uh, the blue book tools let's say you want to use a desmos calculator you can also go ahead and use that as well let's say for example i'm just clicking on this i want to use a calculator i can just go ahead and, and use this calculator as well right now this is integrated for demonstration purposes if you want to go ahead and and integrate your uh, desmos calculator all you just need to do is just purchase the key and, and add it here and you're done so this calculator is made available to the learners so i do that again i and and the equations are supported in, in latex be it images or the equations it will uh, it will appear itself it will render itself in very high quality here now once i am done with this my results are going to be generated right now here is a sample result uh, that I've loaded for you. Now, now let's understand this result. So if you are taken a, if you have taken a digital SAT exam, you get a scale score here, here. Uh, the total score, the, the, the scale score, uh, is something that you will see here based on your performance. And then you can dive deep into the number of questions. I, I answer the number of questions. I, I answer. Uh, you, I mean, as a learner, uh, you would be able to do all your analysis here as well. Now, difficulty level analysis based on question for difficulty level and for topic, it's going to be available. And then you will have topic wise analysis as well. So you get a scale score, you get the difficulty level analysis by question distribution, question topics, and then you have sectional analysis as well. Now, in addition to this, you also get access to the detailed summary 
which will tell the time you spent on that particular question, the difficulty level of that question, and then whether I answered it right or not, wrong, what is the answer I had given, what is the correct answer, and what is the explanation. And then there is also the session log that tells you when the test was logged, uh, when the test was started, when the test got end, and then if there are any tab movements or, or test interruptions that will also be made available here. So that's about it. So, so here is the platform that is giving you the comfort of buying uh, a digital SAT practice exam, but also gives you the flexibility to play around with the questions, play around with the question tagging, create personalized test environment for your learners. So it's not just about the diagnostic test, but the test that follows. The analytics that the diagnostic gives provide to the learner, you're also able to look at these performances and use the robust question library with preloaded content in case if you purchase from us, right? That will give you the power to, to offer these personalized exams to the learner so that they can work on the improvement areas. I hope to see you on Gooded with us very soon. If you have any questions, do feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.